Welcome back folks, this is Swap, and today we have Eden Zero Episode 6 and 7 to catch up to, so let's not waste any more time, let's get right to it. The last minister was recorded on the case. Oh, it was done by Weiss. But the old future Weiss, not this fool. <laughs> so Dick returns to the future, the memories might come back. No, I don't think her memories would come back. But they could go back into the future, and maybe future wise would know what Pino's all about. <laughs> you have the whole squad on them. 50 year old ship won't be able to catch up. That's right. They got a futuristic ship. Come on, they get it out. Nope, they got caught in the damn clouds. God damn it. <laughs> They're being pushed back by the clouds and unknown energy fields. That's not good. <laughs> uh oh, here we go. <laughs> you said your ship's a piece of shit. <laughs> he would go in her room and steal her snacks like that. He probably stole something else too. Oh, is it? Oh, there it is, the Ether Gear. He's about to show off. I've been waiting to see how this looks like in the anime too. I'm really curious to see how they do it. Increasing. <laughs> He's in the zone right now. Come on. Ah, oh, and he fixed her leg while he was at it. <laughs> he doesn't have a name for these gear. Swamp boy. <laughs> there we go. They finally made it out. No matter where they go, Norma will always be 50 years behind. <laughs> and he's with that bunny girl from the bar. She's a little older now. <laughs> a broken android. Mm, so he didn't create Pino, you know, he just repaired it for the demon lord. That's right. There you go, Pino. Now you know who your master is. Shiki's grandpa. <laughs> Create a new reality. Alright, so you don't have to worry about if something happens to the young Weiss, nothing will happen to the future Weiss. Got it. That's what makes this series really fun right now. It won't affect me in the slightest. They're having come Oh shit, something's coming at him. Oh, it's Elsie. Here we go. You know, I didn't notice it at first too, but someone was telling me that the flag on Elsie's ship is the emblem is actually the fairy tale emblem, but like sideways or upside down, something like that. I have to look back at it real close, but I remember someone telling me that. Yeah, I can see it now. For rule the seven, yeah. There you go. She is scared shitless of Elsie, but Shiki. <laughs> of course, Shiki is freaking excited about this. The Skull Fairy. <laughs> That's a nice name for it. The Skull Fairy. Retain control of your control system. Oh shit. <laughs> Of course, why? That's the first thing he thinks of. Oh, so they want, they want to capture Rebecca to sell to some old guy on Gilst. All right. 
<laughs> Why is just trying to get the hell out of this situation? Damn, that's cold. Come on, Weiss. You ain't like that. <laughs> I like how this is the first thing that comes to Rebecca's mind. <laughs> One million views. Alright, here we go. Shiki knows exactly where to go. Oh, shit. This kind of reminds me of like, um, I think I said this before too. Like the the Zerg from StarCraft. They're like space, basically space aliens. There's just biomatter everywhere. But these guys are like zombies or something. They have like no control over them. So they got some purple tentacle arm looking things. <laughs> I don't know if Shiki's, I mean Shiki's strong. Don't get me wrong. I don't think these guys got a plate on Shiki, but they're so like foreign and their fighting style is just kind of weird. But Shiki's adapting to it pretty quickly. Yeah, he's ready to just throw hands like crazy. That's what I love about Shiki. He is not scared to just go in fist first straight to the gut. Doesn't matter if they have tentacle arms or nothing. He just goes straight in there. Uh-oh, what's going on with Rebecca? <laughs> I love Mashima, man. I love Mashima. It would not be right if you didn't have a scene like this with tentacles. Poor Weiss, he only has a gun. <laughs> He's like, he just wants to like take a picture of that pose real quickly. <laughs> That's right, that's their first time seeing this. For sexual desires. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think they meant to grab her in a sexual way. <laughs> but she definitely took it that way. And you know, her reaction is justifiable. L.C. Crimson. Ah, the music! Oh, that face! That skull face! Uh, <laughs> I want to see the next episode! Alright y'all, that was episode 6, we got off the planet. Alright y'all, that was episode 6, we got off the planet Norma. Now we're finally back in the present time. And it turns out that because we were in Norma, that specific planet was back in the past because the chronophage ate the time, it ate about 50 years of time. And so that's why we have a young Weiss and a future Weiss, but the young Weiss, whatever happens to the young Weiss, will not affect the future Weiss. <laughs> it's a little complicated, but not so much. And now we're in this little ship, or I should say this huge, gigantic ship, sorry, of Elsie Crimson's Skull Fairy ship. And now Shiki is here, he has to go fight Elsie Crimson herself so that he can, I guess, claim the ship for himself and get them out of this situation. But we saw Elsie there with this uh, crazy looking skull mask face and some red robotic looking eyes. So we're gonna see what happens with that in the next episode.